Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Give a man some space to miss you and to appreciate you. Right, ladies? He needs to see what life is like without you. So, this man, he need to see what life is like without you. He need to suffer. You need to make this man suffer without you. When this man don't have no booty from you no more, oh, he gonna be suffering without your booty. Yeah, sure, he might get some booty somewhere else. He may or may not. It ain't your booty. He really want yours. Them other little side little girls he dealing with, they come and go, they ain't nobody. But you, the one that was holding him down, the one that was giving him that consistent booty, that's different than just a here and there temporary booty. He might have a one night stand and never see the girl again. You know, so he don't got that consistent booty. It ain't nothing like consistent booty. You know, I'm gonna tell you what the old players say. This is what the old, old school players say. They always tell men, they be like, hey, brother, don't lose your for show booty trying to get some more booty before you end up with no booty, right? I'm going to say that one more time. This is what the old players say. They say, don't lose your for show, for sure booty. The booty, the consistent booty, don't lose your for show booty trying to get some more booty, trying to get more being greedy, trying to get more booty. Because you're going to end up with no booty. Because this girl going to find out about these other girls. Or these other girls going to find out about this girl. And then a lot of times, ain't nobody going to want to mess with you. Right? Because you a liar and you a cheater. And you mixing and, di and dibbling and dabbling and all types of stuff. So you're going to end up with no booty. And you're going to end up in a drought by yourself. And you ain't having sex with nobody. And that's a man's worst fear. 
is losing a woman that had consistent booty with him. So don't even worry about the other girls. You know, when you take your booty away, your booty the one that matters. Them other girls, eh, whatever. Your booty the one that actually matters if you take that away, right? So you take the booty away. He got to suffer without the booty. He got to suffer without them home-cooked meals. Ain't no more waking up with, with, with breakfast no more. No, nah, you better starve. You better go catch McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> you better, and before 1030, you know, because 1031, they switching over to lunch. So, you know, guess what? Ain't no more. Ain't no more home-cooked meals. Ain't no more dinners. You know, you better go to Wendy's or you better go to Chick-fil-A or Raising Cane's or you better go somewhere else to go get you some food, you know? You better order takeout at a restaurant because ain't no more cooking over here, right? So you're going to have to starve or you're going to have to eat that fast food, that cheap stuff that's not good for your soul. You're going to have to eat that bad food, right? And then you take away, you know, your cleaning. Yeah, when you take away your cleaning, I ain't picking nothing up no more. I ain't, I ain't vacuuming no more. I'm not dusting no more. I'm not spraying stuff down no more. I'm not sweeping and mopping no more. Nah, leave it dirty. You cause your mess, I'm leaving it dirty. Clean up your own mess. Clean up your own house. Clean up your, clean up after yourself. I'm not cleaning nothing. I'm not touching nothing. I'm not doing no laundry no more. Nah, wash your own dirty drawers. I'm not washing it no more. Wash your own. He, he probably don't even know how to wash clothes without you. Look how much this man's suffering without you. He don't even know how to wash. How you work the buttons on this dryer? How you work the buttons on this washing machine? Oh, uh, okay, I got to separate my colors from my clothes, my other clothes, or I got to separate the darks from the lights, or I got to separate this and that. Okay, how much fabric softener? How much How much detergent I use? What I, he don't even know how to wash clothes without you. He going to suffer. His clothes going to come out. You know, all dingy and, and not clean if he even learn how to even work the washing machine. This man, he gonna suffer without you. He don't even know how to use a stove. This man don't even know how to use a stove. But guess what? He gonna suffer without your, without your cooking, right? So he get no booty. You know, he don't get no booty, so he gonna have to suffer. He can't eat no more. He gonna have to eat takeout. Ain't no more cleaning up. He got clean up after himself. He got to do his own laundry. Ain't no more you helping him with his business. No, I'm not helping you build your business. Do it yourself. I'm not going to be your secretary. No, do it yourself. I'm not going to be your assistant no more. Do it yourself. I'm not going to be taking calls for you for your business. No, take your own calls. I'm not going to be, you know, on the computer typing stuff up for you. No, type it yourself. I'm not going to be emotional, emotionally available for you. I'm not going to be, you know, there for you when you need a shoulder to cry on. Nah, you better go cry in the car by yourself. Wipe your own tears because I was there wiping your tears and you ain't appreciate me. I was there when you lost everything and I stayed by your side. I was there when you lost your family member and I was there for you when they passed, right, away. I was there when you was going through your rough time in your business. I was there. I was there holding you down. Ain't no more. I'm not, I'm not going to be there no more. You better suffer by yourself. You ain't going to have me holding your hand no more. Suffer by yourself, right? So... When you take all your great benefits away from him and he just suffering because he don't know what to do now. He don't know how to wash his clothes. Most men don't cook. You know, it is some men that know how to cook, but most men, they don't know how to cook. That's why they always want a woman to cook. When you go cook for me, when you go cook for me, because he don't know how to cook. Most men, if you go to a single man's house, he probably barely even got... Food in his fridge. 
He probably barely got pots and pans to even cook on. He barely got plates and silverware to even eat off of. Go to a single man's house. He barely got furniture in there. Go to a single man's house. He ain't got no food in the fridge, you know? So you need to show this man how big of an impact you had on his life. You got to show this man that it is a privilege for you to be in his life. You got to show this man how big of a part you played in his life. When you take everything away and strip him away from everything, now he realized, wait a minute, my life ain't going as great as it was while she was here. When she was here, my laundry was done and folded. When she was here, I was eating good. When she was here, I was getting booty. When she was here, she was helping me with my business. She was typing stuff for me, taking calls for me when I couldn't do it. When I was sick and I couldn't do nothing, she was there with some, with some orange juice and some chicken noodle soup and a hug to make me feel better right? She was there for me. She gave me, you know, some little vitamins and some medicine to heal me back, you know? And now I don't have none of that. Now when I'm sick, I'm just sick. Now when I'm down and out, I'm just down and out. I don't got no extra, extra hand around here, right? That's basically what it is. You was that extra hand, a helping hand, a woman, what they say, a woman is a helpmate. Yeah, ain't no more help. You know what they say? The Bible, the Bible say a woman is supposed to be a helpmate. You know, a helpmate, right? He ain't got no more help no more. Ain't no more help. Do it yourself, right? Now he appreciate the help he did have. Oh, yeah. When you don't have that help no more, you quickly realize, hey, life, I, I, it's a lot of things I got to do on my own that I might not want to do or that I might not be good at doing or I have to divide my time doing so many tasks when I had, you know, somebody to take some of that load off of me, right? So, and then to give him some time, not only do he suffer without you, now it give him some time to reflect. It give him some time to feel guilty, to think about what he did wrong. It gave him some time to really sit there and be like, wow, you know, she was just a great woman and I'm about to lose her. Let me go get her back, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's why you need to pull back and you need to block a man and give him some space to miss you, think about you and to appreciate you and respect you. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.